you know, I was almost excited about this movie that's going to be coming out because my, my daughter loves the movie Finding Nemo. And I don't know about Finding Nemo. I mean, you know, it seems almost depressing at times. I, I have to tell her to forward it because I, I could tell a spirit of depression when I see it. I'm like, no, nah, you know, you, you, you got too much, you know, the dad's too depressing at times for trying to find Nemo and he's all down on himself. He's got issues. Come on. And then Dory, she's funny, you know. And so now, you know, you have Pixar that stated that they're going to put out a movie called Finding Dory. So I'm like, hey, this is cool. My daughter would love this. I love it because I, I, I don't mind, you know, watching little cute movies like this as long as they're not all illuminated out, right? We don't want to start looking at pyramids and triple sixes hidden in all these movies, but they're out there. So we got to be careful. But anyway, forget about the movie now because apparently Dory, they, they've had to corrupt. They've had to corrupt little finding Dory by stating, and I quote, that the first Pixar finding Dory film is going to include a lesbian couple. See, th that's not right. You're going to push your agenda on my kid? I don't think so. That's why we homeschool here. See, many say, oh, well, homeschooling means that they're not socially inept. That, that, that means that they're not socializing with children. They're hermits. I said, you don't know my kids, and you don't know us here. You, you really don't. And really, for all the homeschooling parents, you all know what I mean. Come on. You ain't gonna push no. You're not gonna push an agenda on my on my children in, in my household uh, against my household. We will not put up with it in Jesus' name. So finding Dory's out. Have to break the news to my little girl. She may be watching right now. Baby, just believe Mama. Just just trust me. We know what we're doing here. <laughs> Seriously, what is this? It says here a new trailer for Finding Dory. Thank you, Lord. A new trailer for Finding Dory has prompted speculation. That the film could be the first in Disney's Pixar history to include a lesbian couple. Why? What does a fish... I'm just going to show you the picture. What does a fish have to do with homosexuality? Why do they have to go there? They're that desperate? No, the devil is a liar. That's what it is. The devil's a liar and the father of all lies. That's what it is. It says here... You, I got to keep reading. It says here, the latest trailer for the film, a sequel to 2003's Finding Nemo, debuted on the Ellen, of course, on the Ellen Degenerated show. I call her Degenerated. Okay, so I, I, I don't know. I, we, she needs to get saved. All of them. Everybody, everybody in Hollywood needs to get saved. You all need to get saved and born again, filled with the Holy Ghost. Ellen Degenerates, Jesus loves you, but it's more than just love. You got to get right with God. We all got to get right with God in these last days because the day of the Lord is at hand. He loves you. It's not as well that any man should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That's, that's all Hollywood. All of Hollywood, okay? But they just happen to have this, this, this woman's name here. The Ellen, the Ellen Show last week follows the eponymous amnesiac fish voiced by Ellen DeGeneres herself as she sets off on a journey to discover her family. Um, it says here, but one particular moment has sparked rumors that the film will include a lesbian couple and occurs when an octopus appears to knock a baby out of a pram. As the girl's presumed parents turn around, they both appear to be women, sparking suggestion that the film could mark a progressive milestone in Pixar's history. Now, some may say, come on, Evangelist. Ellen DeGeneres plays a fish and she, you know, she's a homosexual. So now you're going to have a problem? Well, yeah, I do have a problem with Dory because now they're putting it in our face. It's a voice of Ellen DeGeneres as, as Dory. That's fine. That's not even a big deal. And, you know, we, 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 we go out to restaurants. We go out shopping. And there's homosexuals that serve us. And we, look, listen, we love them. God loves them. But don't push the agenda on my children. And this is what's happening in these last days. Satan knows that he's got but a short time, do you? The Bible says, can I, can I show you what the Bible says? You got, you got your word? I hope you do. By this time, I hope you do. I hope you do by this time. If you don't, the only reason why you would not is because you may be driving. You may have your little precious newborn in your hand and you're trying to fiddle with the baby and plus the Bible. Or you just don't have one. And if you don't have one, I want to send one to you. Email me. Anita at emoaf.org. And I mean it. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 12. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. 
Actually, we'll read verse 12. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. It reads as follows. Therefore, rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. That's the people of the earth. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil has come down to you having a great wrath because he knows that he has a short time. He has a short time. And he's doing little stuff like this to try to indoctrinate the minds of people in these last days into believing that homosexuality is good. It's something everybody needs to know about. You know, it's, it's for the sake of not bullying. You know, anti-bullying methods. So Pixar is going to help out with that message. You know, it's not an agenda. It's just for the sake of not, you know, for, for, for inclusivity. For people not feeling like they're left out or hated on. No, it's not. It's anti-Christ. It's anti-Christ through and through. We have to understand. Can, 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 I, can, I, can I give you all some breaking news on this? From, from the kingdom of heaven. Homosexuality is a lie from the devil. Let me tell you why, though. Let me tell you why. We have to get this. And I pray that if there happens to be any homosexuals that are tuning in, and we, and we get them all the time here. If you heard that sound, that was on my end. We get precious homosexuals that tune in all the time. Okay? If there happens to be a homosexual tuning in, or even a transgender tuning in, God loves you with an everlasting love. He's madly in love with you. He ain't mad at you. He, 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 he gave a son for you so that you believe in him, not just meant to assent belief, but literally giving your entire life to him to take over every part of it, every part of it. I know people are now saying, oh, well, there's Christian transgenders and there's Christian homosexuals. No, there's not. Because once you become a Christian, you're a Christian. You're not a Christian prostitute or a Christian drug dealer or a Christian homosexual or a Christian whore. No, you're a Christian, period. Period. Stop redefining God. You ain't going to be redefined. We can't make God in our own image. He, we're made in his. And that's what we got to get right now. Homosexuality, transgenderism is a lie from the devil. And like I said, I'm going to tell you why. You're made in the image of God. You're made in his image. I have to tell you, the devil hates you. Because every time he sees you, he sees God. See? Live stream or uh, uh, Facebook live stream. Facebook can't handle it. Don't get crazy on me, Facebook. I see we got stuck on Facebook. Give us a moment. There we go. We're back on Facebook. Don't get mad at us. Oh, I'm sure all of a sudden the connection is going to get weird. On, it ain't going to get weird on us in Jesus' name. Father, keep our connection on. We need you. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. As I was saying, we are made, you're made in the image of God. The devil hates the image of God. So that means the devil hates you. He hates me. He hates us. In these last days, the devil is on a rampage. He's got a list of things to do. And so far, he's checking off quite a bit. One of the things is to make you believe a lie. That's his forte. That's what he's been doing since the Garden of Eden. In all reality, he's still stuck there because all he knows is what he what worked for him from the very beginning, what he believes worked for him. Now, we know it did not. We being here is living proof. Those of you who are saved, born again, filled with the Holy Ghost, you're living proof. It didn't work for him, but he's fallen. He can't get up. OK, so he's going to continue on with the same method that he believed worked for him that caused the fall of man. Right now, in these last days, he's making people as many as possible believe that they are, they were born with the wrong body. They were born with the wrong gender. So if he could try to manipulate the image of God, he feels he's sticking his dirty, nasty middle finger up to God himself. But he's not because God won already. God won through his son, Jesus Christ, already. Death has been defeated. Lie. The Bible says that a lie is but for a moment. But the word of God is established forever and forever. Homosexuality is a lie. God knows what he did when he created you, beloved. 
When he created you male, it pleased him. When he created you female, it pleased him. Man lying with man is not of him. It's of the devil. It's antichrist. It's of Satan. We, 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 we got to put this out there because I know right now Canada, oh Canada, oh Canada, you got your prime minister, Justin Trudeau, trying to jail people, oh Canada, for speaking out against this. And it's going to be coming here in America. But I'm not shutting up about it. God is not being quiet about it. He's never quiet. He's a roaring lion. And he will speak because he's God. And we got to listen. Homosexuality is not made in the image of God. It's made in the image of the devil. If you want to know what the devil looks like, look at homosexuality. Look at transgenderism. He's seeking to make the image of God into the image of, the, of himself, into the image of the evil one. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. It's a clear distortion of the image of God. Our identity is only found in Jesus Christ. Our identity is not being in a medical doctor for all the doctors who are tuning in. And I know they tune in. Our identity is not being a psychologist or an actor or an actress or being the next American Idol. That is not our identity. Our identity is not being a stay-at-home mom. Our identity is not being a plant manager. Our identity is only found in Christ and Christ alone. If your identity is in anything else, you are on sand and you will, it, it will collapse. It will not stand come the great storm that's coming our way. Please, God, let anyone who has an ear to hear, let them hear what the Spirit is saying right now. Thank you, Lord. Save them. S call on the name of the Lord. Say, Lord, save me and I will be saved. T tell them, Lord, save me and I will be saved. Heal me and I will be healed. For you are my praise. You are my praise, O oh Lord. All right. So that, that, that's finding Dory. Um, Dory's been perverted. Okay? Homosexual couple. First one in Pixar movie. Let's go to our next headline. 